Okay, continue where we left off, so... Yep, Charlie and Itchy win, and they escaped from the pound, owned by the Animal Cruelty Squad, so... Now for the next one, uh, Bernard and Bianca versus Warranty Rat. So, Bernard and Bianca are on their way to the headquarters of the League of Gentle Mice. The League of Extraordinary Gentle Mice, that is. I guess that outline says... Uh, let me try this again. I guess that alliance has already been formed, I guess. And they decided to take a shortcut. Yeah, sometimes shortcuts are not always the good ideas. And they found themselves in the lair of Warranty Rat along with his cat. Yeah, if I was a mouse, I'd be freaked out too. And they've been spotted. And Warren T. Rats sends his cats to go capture them. And they both manage to escape. Yeah, maybe next time. Okay, now for the next fight, uh, Freddy versus Ursula, so, um, at a castle in Monaco, Monte Carlo, France, I think I've talked about that before, so, yeah, there's Freddy when he was a prince, yeah, Ursula arrives and tries to capture him, I guess Messina asks Ursula to help him, help her out on this, like, hey, can you help out, Iski? And she turns him into a frog. Yep. And Freddy jumps out. Dives into the water. And Ursula goes into the water also. Tries to capture Freddy. Interesting that she can float through the air. I guess she uses magic to swim through the air. Logical. I mean, come on, she's a sea witch. She probably knows all kinds of magic. And, looks like Freddy has been saved by the Loch Ness mo Monster, Nessie. Not sure why she's freaked out by this. And Ursula turns herself into a whirlpool and swims out of here. And has her tail stuck under the rock. Yeah, that had a heart. So, yeah, Freddy survives. And now for the next fight is uh, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy versus El Supremo. Hmm. So, El Supremo has his gigantic robotic snake and capture Buckingham Palace. <laughs> just like in that movie, Freddy has 7 even though it's not a very good film, but the villains, I think, are just the only decent ones in there. Oops. Just to make a... Just in case, I don't want to make a copyright claim on this one. Yeah, the success of capturing Buckingham Palace. And they shrunk it into like a miniature size. So Mickey, Donald, and Goofy travel to the lair of El Supremo just to get back Buckingham Palace. And I will say it is interesting seeing a rivalry. Looks like it's a rivalry between... Mickey, Donald, and Goofy against El Supremo. That's three against one. That's kind of an interesting rivalry. Although, I would have thought it'd be cooler if there was Bluto would have fight these three. I'm just suggesting. Just an idea. I thought it would have been interesting. <laughs> Powerful push. 
or knock it over. And looks like Minnie has been captured by Messina. Oh, there. And they're being kicked out of their lair. El Supremo wins. Also, one thing is that, uh, Mickey Donald and Goofy seems to be, like, the only short characters, short cartoon film characters, in this war entirely. Why not other ones, like Felix the Cat or the Looney Tunes? Even Isanama Knight uh, suggested this question. Like, one question, why the Looney Tunes are not in this war? They are the most famous cartoons in Warner Brothers. Yeah, it's a good question. Although I did tell them that me, Fattis, and Heavy Pops have them in non-Disney Heroes vs. Villains, so, yeah. Okay, then we go into the epilogue, we see Nessie and Freddy introduce each other, and then we see Ariel and Flounder just swim by and run into them. As they all decide to team up. But Nessie is still stuck under that, has her tail stuck under the rock. Man, for a little mermaid, she is tough. And I think I'm going to stop right here, because uh, this part is where I got a copyright clean for whatever reason on this one, so it'd just be safer. And it's a scene with Fiverr, this had a cig cigarette, senses there's going to be something bad, and it shows the vision of something bad will happen. So in this series, well, it kind of shows Hexes and the Firebird are the one that's destroying the force. So of course it'd be Hexes and the Firebird. Who else could it be? Because, yeah, it's basically the whole scene from the movie, Watership Down, so... So yeah, that was Heroes vs. Villains, round one, and still as good as it was years ago, so... Glad to remake this part of the... I'm glad to remake the fan commentary on this round. Just thought it'd be much more better. So, hopefully I'll remake the others soon. So, remake the other commentaries. So, see you guys in the next uh, video.